Hello students, welcome back to our class of microprocessor. On our last class actually we did some extension of our series or loop programs and uh, we stored some data uh, in our consecutive memory location we first fetch the value of n and we then generated some series and we also discussed how to generate different types of series and how to store them in memory now in today's class we will do simply the reverse of it we will phase the data from the memory that is from the consecutive memory locations and we will do the operations you can also consider is today's class as a uh, operations related to array now what is an array array is nothing but some homogeneous data stored in continuous memory allocation right so if you are fetching the data from an array you are simply doing some continuous memory fetching operations now how to fetch some data from the memory we have already learned we have two options either we can do by lda or we can do some lxi and thereafter mov the content of m to any particular register okay so in today's class we will fetch uh, using the lxi and uh, uh, let's take one example first say we have <coughs> we have uh, some data say 0 a in our memory location 3000 and we will first face the data from there and thereafter we will uh, store uh, sorry fetch uh, the data from our consecutive memory location that is it is starting from 2001 age it may contain anything it may contain 2 may contain 3 or 4 and thereafter 2001 then 2002 then 2002 then 3 then 4 dot 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 up to n now this value of n depends on this right okay <coughs> so first phase the data and then uh, we will do some operation okay first let's learn how to phase the data from consecutive memory so we will first initialize uh, our hl pair with 3000 that is lxi 300 h and then we transfer the content of m that is the pointer value to our b register and then if we simply do this that is inx h and if we write c comma m lxi 3000 that is we are fetching the first location that is the value of n right and then we are transferring the content that is the value of n in our v register okay now we are uh, running a loop the loop will be like this dcrb and jnz loop that is until and unless this b becomes 0 from n it will be decremented by 1 and then uh, eventually it will come to 0 and then we will stop there and within the loop what we will do is that we will first uh, increment the value inx h that is we will come to next location 3001 and then move the content of m register to c that is something that is already stored in 2001 in uh, the c register okay so this is how we will face the data <coughs> excuse me now after fetching the data from the memory you can do several operations you can do addition you can do multiplication you can do anything right let's take one example say we are uh, trying to do some addition operation so uh, we will simply initialize that is mvi a comma 00h our accumulator is getting initialized by 0 and mvi d comma 00 why we are initializing the accumulator because we know that for addition operation or maybe for the subtraction operation we need to uh, do the all the operations on our a register that is on our accumulator so that is why i am initializing a with 0 and this d will contain our carry part right if any carry takes place then it will uh, do the thing so uh, after getting the data from m to c uh, we can do the addition that is add c okay so <laughs> we already have the data in our c register and simply adding to our accumulator that is 
accumulator is equal to accumulator C. This is uh, already done in our previous example. So it is now uh, easy for you to uh, get the uh, logic. So add C and then we will check J N C. Jump on not carry to some particular location say that is, this is L1. So you are coming on to L1 here and if carry takes place then we will simply increment D by 1 okay so we take some consecutive value values from uh, our consecutive memory location if the values can be consecutive or maybe some random also because you can store anything you want in uh, our uh, memory location and once you get the data that is uh, the uh, content from the memory then you will add it and then uh, the addition uh, result but some uh, is also stored in our accumulator and once you are done then you will store <coughs> the data back in a particular memory location say maybe it may be for 4000 say we have the memory location 4000 that contains our sum and 4001 say that contains our carry right so if we write sta 4008 then uh, already our sum part is in our accumulator so it is in uh, 4000 and then mov a comma c no, sorry sorry not c it will be d we are uh, taking care of our carry in our d register right mov a comma d and then sta 4001 h okay i hope the concept is right now clear for you guys so First we learn how to face the data from the memory, then we did some operation. Now instead of doing this operation addition, you can do anything other also. You can change the value. You say, uh, I'm doing the, that program also in this series. Now say you are uh, fetching the data from 3001, 3002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, anything uh, using this. And thereafter, say maybe you are changing the content. Okay you are changing the content and you are again storing it back i'm taking a copy of this program okay now to use this so you are fetching the content uh, that is the value of n from 3000 then mov b comma m okay good loop inx h uh, you are coming to the next location you are fetching the content that is m in c instead of uh, doing this addition operation say you did some inrc so c is getting incremented by one and thereafter and i see and thereafter you again move it back m comma c right so what we did in the last operation we face the data we increment it by one say if you have one in your memory then it will be two it will become two right because c contains the values one it is getting incremented by one and again you are storing it back in the memory so this program will do what it will fetch some values from the consecutive memory location and will increment each value and then store it back okay you can do any any kind of operation so that is why i'm i'm asking at the end of every my video that if you are doing any program that is not covered in my tutorial if you have any doubt then you can ask me or you can write your own program also you can paste it in the comment section our our students and uh, some other viewers also will uh, get uh, help from you guys okay thank you thank you for being a good listener and please share my video and please subscribe thank you